Hey everyone out there, it's Quinn. I'm here to show you all my recent wig purchase. It's Janet Collection Madison, and this is a full wig. I got it in the color one. It's a great go-to style for something quick and easy. Prepare my hair to um, wear under a wig, especially a full wig. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have a clean scalp and hair. So I wash and condition my hair as usual. And the next thing I'll do is cornrow my hair as you see. I have about six cornrows going just straight back. And this helps to uh, have the wig lay flatter to your scalp because you don't want a big bulky looking mask. The next thing I'll do is throughout the week, I'll put conditioner on my hair. And in previous videos, I told you guys I've discovered this white rain conditioner at my local Dollar General. I love it. I think it does a great job with um, African American hair, especially relaxed hair like mine. So I squeeze some into my hand, rub it together, and then I just rub it straight back all the way to the ends of my braid. And that helps to keep my hair conditioned while underneath this wig. The next thing I'll do is I'll use the Dr. Miracles Follicle Healer, the pomade or the cream. I think this rip, this product really helps to promote growth. I notice I have a little more new growth when I use this product versus when I don't. Of course, I'll put this on the parts of my braids and you'll get that hot cold sensation that's kind of soothing to your scalp. The next thing you want to do is your wig cap. So. I tuck my braids underneath and I get my wig cap and you just shove that hair underneath and there we are we're ready to put on our wig so what I do is find the front of the wig and I flip it down like so and I line up the front of the wig with the front of my hairline right here and flip it back and then secure it underneath and it looks kind of crazy at first but you just finger comb it to your liking I have a little mirror right here I brought that I can use and just like that you have an instant hairstyle now <clears throat> this wig doesn't have any hair combs in it, which I don't mind in a full wig because sometimes the combs really hurt or I don't use them at all. This wig, I've had it out, I've brushed in it, I've played in it, um, but it doesn't do any shedding. And the only maintenance you need for this wig is to keep it clean. Now, one of the issues with a wig with a bang that lays across your forehead, if you're like me and have oily skin, I probably look really reflective in this video because I'm using natural light that's really bright and in my oil, so it's just bling blinging today. But um, you want to make sure that the oils from your hair don't cause the hairs in the front to start to stick together. And that's why I look really shiny. That looks kind of gross. My fix for that is either get some baby powder, rub it in your hand, and then rub it in the wig, or just wash your wig. I wash my wigs at least once a week. Um, I like to keep them fresh smelling. I don't like my wig smelling like outside a scalp. So that like this little wisp right here to like really wing up. So what I'll do is hairspray it and then pin it like just like that with one of the silver pins. And when you let it sit there and dry, the hairspray will help it retain that shape because I think the more layers you show in your wig, the more natural looking it looks. Um, another thing is the, the part is not very natural looking. I don't really care about that because not many people, I'm five foot six and not many people are looking down at the top of my head. But what I like to do is just mess it up a little bit, have it a little messy, put a little hairspray to stiffen it up because this synthetic hair is so soft at first. And when you stiffen it up, you can mess it up. Um, and it looks more natural, more diva. I appreciate that about the wig that I have that ability. Um, the more unkept it looks, the more natural it looks to me. Because nobody's hair, every single hair is perfect sitting on top of their head. So this is my recommendation. This is my second or third time I purchased this wig. I really appreciate it for what it serves in my hair's life. It helps preserve my hair, protect my hair, 
and it looks good I'm a professional so it has it helps me to still look professional and like someone the public can trust I'm a pharmacist so you have to have a certain look when you're interacting with a lot of people so I think this wig gives me that diva quality yet conservative quality as well I would highly recommend it it can last about two to three weeks as long as you take care of it um, I purchased mine from hairwigharlem.com I think it was about $20 but I think I saw it at hair stop and shop for like $18 so tomato tomato buy it if you like it um I hope you guys enjoyed this video this was my first wig review enjoy thank you